Hi folks, welcome to your latest MWIS Outlook that's updated on Tuesday the 23rd of March. Whichever way you keep score, we've now gone fully into the season of spring, although March is going to do its darndest to go out like a lion, having come in rather more like a lamb on this occasion. We've got an unsettled story to take us through the later part of this week, the weekend, and even early next week as Atlantic weather patterns dominate. It'll be often windy, gale force on the hills for sustained periods. A brief push of much colder air comes in from the west on Friday with a marked drop of freezing level. And all in all, it'll be a rather wet spell across many western mountains, especially in Scotland. So not exactly what we want to hear at the moment. Let's hope as things open up into April that there's some decent springtime weather on the way. First of all, a look at uh, the freezing level chart and middle of the day on Wednesday just to start off with. And even at this point, we're around or just below freezing point on the higher Scottish mountains. Let's just roll that story on over a day or so then. We uh, get... Uh, a marginal lift of freezing level into Thursday. It's still near to freezing point uh, across uh, many of the Scottish tops. I suspect it does just lift above the highest summits as the daytime goes on, though, as we get just a brief push of southwesterly air that comes in. But a marked cold front is then waiting by the time we get to the later part of Thursday, and especially as we head onwards into Friday. See how the darker blue colours uh, are pushing their way in overnight into Friday daytime. That's uh, around first light then, a cold front passing eastwards. And we're likely through Friday to see the freezing level uh, widely down to 600 metres and maybe even a bit lower than that across western Scotland where some showers come in. So a, a very cold day, a burst of uh, winter again across the mountains even to quite low levels. A severe wind chill factor will be in evidence as well. Now that uh, low freezing level will be around into early Saturday, so some icy conditions around, risk of some frost in some sheltered valleys and glens as well, first thing Saturday morning. But then we do get a rise of temperature through the daytime. I think the higher mountains will stay close to freezing point, but... Uh, a fair part of the day will be sub-zero on many of the mountains, just that gradual lift of temperature with time, especially into the afternoon and the evening as the next push of milder air comes in from the Atlantic. And the overall message even beyond that is a bit of freeze and thaw, especially across Scottish mountains, further south, England and Wales, more typically above freezing point into the start of next week. Here's the synoptic charts for the next few days. For Wednesday, we've got a weakening frontal system, which will have passed southeastwards through Tuesday evening and night with some rain around for a time. The residual effects of that still across Wales and the South Pennines early in the day. So a bit of dampness first thing. That will clear. Then it's a story of a few showers, chiefly affecting uh, western hills in Scotland. Some snow and some hail maybe mixed in at times, uh, most frequent in the west. And as another little front comes in, it may be that things deteriorate to become a bit more organised in terms of those showers uh, setting in for a time, especially later on in the day. It's a southwesterly pattern that dominates into Thursday, a windy day across many mountains, touching gale force at times and maybe tending to strengthen as well as time goes on. It's a message of showers once again, most frequent across more western regions, a few passing eastwards with time. Difficulty with exact detail, there may be a little organised trough that just even moves into Wales for something, uh, something more constant in terms of precipitation through Thursday afternoon, not easily depicted on this chart it must be said. But just expect that idea of some showers, again with some snow and some hail across the higher mountains. Mostly rain though down at the lowest levels. The cold front which lies to the west though is that main change to the much colder air briefly into Friday. It may have a little bit of a ripple on it as it goes southeastwards with some heavy rain and some hill snow on it uh, for a time early in the day Friday. That uh, front itself will clear, but then what we've got is quite a, a marked upper level trough, as we call it, and that's the ingredients for a very showery day that follows. And those uh, showers heavy with some hail and thunder and occasionally snow even falling to some lower slopes. I think hail will be one of the main factors of the day, though, and that could just become a bit more constant than showers hours across western Scotland where a small front could just be into the mix as well. Uh, a windy day, gusty, squally conditions around showers, maybe some brief uh, sunnier intervals, best of those typically across more eastern hills. Uh, a very cold day though nonetheless.
Now it's quite a mobile weather regime as we head onwards into the weekend. That uh, trough and all its showers and activity is away into Europe by Saturday. A brief bump of high pressure just tries to get in before the next Atlantic fronts sweep in from the west. The absolute timing, give or take uh, six hours or so, is open to a bit of question, but just watch for things deteriorating again with strengthening winds and uh, further uh, rain preceded by hill snow coming in to western Scotland. There may be a window of opportunity on Saturday though where things are a bit brighter with just one or two showers around could still be a rather windy day though with plenty of isobars on the charts the risk of near gale force winds and strengthening further up to gale force with the time through the day it's southwesterlies that dominate onwards into Sunday as well. Still a windy day, most likely. Could well be gale force across most mountains much of the day. A trail of fronts coming through from the Atlantic again with uh, some low clouds and rain, some drizzle, uh, maybe a bit of hill snow for a time. Temperatures tending to lift as we get more of a tropical maritime southwesterly coming in. That, though, fairly moisture laden, so a lot of low cloud across the hills of England and Wales, maybe drizzly rather than anything too heavy, but the risk of some heavier rain coming into western Scotland. Uh, as a bit of a wave on a front just comes in from the west. So contrasting air masses back to uh, something milder by this stage compared to that more polar maritime push of westerlies that we'll have seen on Friday. So it's all quite a chopping and changing story in terms of the atmosphere that moves across us. It's likely that quite a strong area of low pressure exists to the northwest of Britain as we go to the start of next week. So it just continues to drive that unsettled story in from the Atlantic. Uh, quite a straight line southwesterly flow coming uh, in from the mid-Atlantic. The risk with that of some more constant heavier falls of rain at times. I think that focusing itself on western Scotland, but there could be some uh, rainfall uh, of a heavy variety elsewhere at times early next week and staying a windy story with those powerful southwesterlies in charge. Now things begin to change a bit, I think, as we go into the middle of the week. Uh, still looking fairly changeable for a while, but just notice higher pressure, which is due to exist somewhere over the mid-Atlantic, that building northwards a bit towards Greenland, and that just cutting off eventually that uh, powerful jet stream flow that's coming in all the way across the Atlantic. Very complicated day to day just how things will unfold. There may just be again a rather showery story as we go towards the later part of the week. Uh, potential for a, a chillier north or northwesterly outbreak uh, suggested on this chart but it's this message of what we'd call a more blocked weather pattern as we head even onwards uh, towards the Easter period where we don't necessarily see uh, weather systems steaming in from the Atlantic instead things become a bit more slow moving it's then really the question whether we get under a slow moving zone of lower pressure and showers or whether higher pressure does start to build in more uh, around that and give us something quieter and almost at this stage as we go onwards in the sort of 10 to 15 day period it is very up for grabs in terms of just how things unfold so a very educated we don't know at this stage as we look towards the Easter period is honestly as good as we can do. We shall see how all of that unfolds of course and I'll update you in the full outlook in the next video on Friday. Thanks for watching today. Bye for now.